It's Independence Day, and for those of you that have been following Sean's YouTube channel, he likes to feature the garden um, at this time during the week. And so we decided instead of featuring the garden, we'd feature something from the garden, which are arakara beans. We're going to go ahead and make a baked bean recipe since who doesn't love baked beans on the 4th of July? So these are arakara beans, and this, they've been soaked overnight, and these are what they look like before they've been soaked. Originally, this is an Alton Brown adaptation of an Alton Brown recipe that calls for navy beans. You can see they're quite a bit smaller, but we're going to go ahead and use these arakara beans. So to start off with the ingredients, you have a pound of soaked arakara beans, and I'm going to move these out of the way, but um, it's pretty a traditional recipe for baked beans, and it calls, except for I would say what's not traditional is that it calls for a pound of bacon. So who doesn't love bacon? So there's a pound of bacon. Um, one jalapeno chopped, one onion chopped, and then um, there's kind of the sweet stuff. So we've got molasses, brown sugar, and then there's tomato paste, and we're going to throw in a little bit of mustard because I kind of like that bounce to flavor, and then salt and pepper, and then chicken broth. So it's pretty simple. We're just going to go ahead and saute up our, um, render out our fat on our bacon, and um, the onions, and the jalapenos, and then move forward, and then it bakes in a low oven, 250 degrees, for six to eight hours until the beans are done. So we're getting this started pretty early this morning. So we're gonna start by throwing in our bacon. You can see that's a lot of bacon. And our onions. And our jalapeno. So you want to render this out until the onions are softened for about five minutes. So we can see here that these have been cooking for about five minutes and the onions are softened. So we'll go ahead and add our brown sugar and our tomato paste and our molasses. So we'll stir that in. And I like to add a little bit of mustard to my baked beans. I feel like it kind of balances the flavor a little bit. That's, that's probably about a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half, somewhere in there. You can see that looks like the beginnings of some yummy baked beans. We're going to go ahead and add our soaked beans. Stir those in. Now the neat thing about these arakara beans is they were actually eaten by the Lewis and Clark expedition when they were in the Dakota Territory. And they, they uh, loved them so much that they brought them back and they were grown by Thomas Jefferson. So it's kind of neat on Independence Day that we'll get to eat beans that were grown by one of our founding fathers. So we'll go ahead and add our pepper and our salt and our chicken stock. So we'll stir this up and then bring it to a boil, cover, and place in a low 250 degree oven. So you can see here we've come up to a full boil, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and place the lid on. Alright, so we're going to place our Dutch oven in our low oven, 250 degrees for six to eight hours and I'll periodically check it to make sure there's plenty of liquid to cook our beans. but. Yeah, six to eight hours and we should be able to enjoy some delicious baked beans on the 4th of July. So these beans have been going now for eight hours and I've been checking them periodically and they've really thickened up. And we'll show you what they look like. We're ready to serve these up and obviously you could buy a can of baked beans and just enjoy those, but we really like the process of growing and producing and then eating our own food. So we're excited to enjoy these baked beans on the 4th of July.